Ho 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 and welcome to another day on Try Hack Me Adam of Cyber. It's day 10, it is game hacking. I have a quite an experience with game hacking uh, from other games, finding uh, hexadecimal addresses in the memory. And basically it's all about finding, you know, values and locking those memory addresses or changing them or making them bigger, smaller, depending on what you want to do. So I think I think the old challenge is all about um, you can follow the tutorial and stuff. I kind of can do that, but we have the the questions, uh, the guard flag and the Yeti flag. So <coughs> we need to go ahead and find that. So let's see what this is all about. Play the game. Space. So I'm gonna use the arrows. Go down here. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Okay. I'm gonna read the text, but I'm gonna wait to see what we're gonna do. We cannot go through. No, we're asking nicely, and he gives us a challenge to get a number. I'm gonna write 55, return, and this is the number we have. So if we can go into the memory now and say equal, now we can change different type of value. I guess it's into the 32, but equal value of the number he told us. Because that is the number in memory we're gonna look for. That's gonna be exact. So we're gonna get one address. I guess that is bookmarking. It is. A lot of stuff. Let's remove all this stuff here. Go back to search and bookmark it. I cannot bookmark it. Please. Pretty please. No? Okay, so let me just try one more time. 44. And the number 62. Maybe the reason that I could not bookmark it was because I removed it. Uh, my game crashed just before. There we go. I accidentally updated my window, the browser, this is why I had so many addresses before. It doesn't really matter, I didn't really succeed in that. That is the, the number, so if you take the address you can see here and the value, if you take the value and copy paste that to hexadecimal editor, you can see that 62555618 is the actual number of the guy's guess. We could freeze that, we could do that, and just ask one more time. And in theory, we should be able to write this number here, 62555618. And you got it. So what really happened here is, as you can see, the wall moved. Is when you freeze a part of the memory, we are disabling the ability of the program, which is the, the evil guardian, whatever. Um, to change the value of the address um, value <laughs> and we can just use the same one and depending on how the program works you know it could store a copy of that but this is a simple program so it's not doing that so we're going to go in right here now this is going to be a bit more tricky now because yeti okay so the yeti all right were we supposed to get a flag or something? Weren't we supposed to get a flag with this guy here? Yeah. So, oh, seriously, to write this? T and H. Uh, five star. Not start. Star. And then. F L four G S E S. So that is the flag. I almost forgot to get it. All right, go away. Thank you. And now we're gonna get to the more tricky part. Now I assume these balls gonna give us damage, so we're gonna lose some health. We don't know the value of the. Um, 
the health bar. Typically, it's a hundred. Typically, you could you could go ahead and write hundred there. You could do that. If you do that, you you're locking yourself to a a guess that might be wrong. So in order not to do that, you're gonna remove the uh, the guess. You want something to equal and just search. You get a lot of results. Forty four hundred and fifty eight thousand seven hundred and fifty three results. What you can do now is go ahead and say all those are stored. So next search, you're gonna take lower than and take some damage. You took some damage, and you're gonna say search one more time. Remember to lower than because you're gonna you're gonna filter out what you have of addresses, and now you're down to zero addresses. That's very interesting. Let's try equal one more time. And do that. Is it restart search, please? Amount of addresses. We're gonna take some damage. Oop. Oh, we're gonna take a lot of damage. And we should be able to take lower than now. And then basically get the value. So let's uh, search. Okay, so now we, we got something. I don't know why it bugged before. I just had to think a bit because I was like, what? So I had to look, check what's the thing for right. Now we can always look through 43 results. I would say the very first results is quite promising. So I'm going to take that. And all this is just addresses. And I don't really want to play with my health. So what I'm going to do is just freeze it. I'm going to go through all this. And it was true, I'm not taking any damage at all. And so the Yeechi spawned a cloud in my head and designed impossible to defeat. I'm gonna go to the Yeechi now and talk to the guy, I guess. I restore your name. Make get a single these. Get out of this game now. Give me that. What? Yeti, 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 flag, flag, flag. Okay, so try hack me. Yeti, three times. And flag, flag, flag. Intelligent flag. So, this is the video. This is how we're gonna do it, and um, just freezing the memory is gonna be the ideal way to do it because, well, you could also change, you know, you could of course change these to like thousand or whatever. That doesn't mean that this would change the, um, wouldn't, doesn't mean that it would change the actual graphics because it's not dependent on that in the same way. So explaining this a bit more, you know, it should be a different video about memory uh, hacking and game hacking. But in essence, what we're gonna do is basically just look for the address, you know, filter way out and try results. What you could do now is, is just go w one step further. Oh, he's still talking to me. And you could say like, so if you want to take one more piece of damage, just one more, there we go. Oh, um, is it still frozen? Maybe it's just... Maybe maybe this is not working after, you know, you, you, fro you froze once. Maybe it's not going to be able to... Uh, it seems like that we, we have no... So, basically this is uh, how it works. This is yeah. how we defeated the game. And I really hope that you solve it. And if any questions, just leave a comment below. I'm going to answer them as fast as I can. So we're just... <laughs>